When's the last time you hugged your mum? Or told her that you loved her? Because I sure love my mum, even if she does embarrass me. Picture this. Right, we're in the car, it's a red light, and my mum's talking about the fact that out of her five children, she had the first one when she was a teenager. And just to put it into perspective, only 5% of all the pregnancies that occur in the UK happen when the mum is under the age of 18. So naturally, my mum goes on to say, Isabel, Isabel, look at me, come on. If I'm out, I want you to be able to hear me. You better not be falling around with the boys at school. Okay, you need to be using contraception and you need to be in a safe place. I do not want you ending up like me. And I'm mortified. I am absolutely mortified. I cannot be crawling further into my seat right now. But I still love her. I have to. This woman, she gets up at five o'clock every single morning to go to work to make sure that we've got food, to make sure that we've got water, to make sure that we've got Netflix. And then she comes home and she used to deal with my sticky little iPad kid brother. And then I get back from school and I complain about my day. I complain all about the fact that my headphones are broken, again. The teachers that I don't like, the seating plans I don't like, the boys I do like, the speech that I've got to perform in front of all these people. <laughs> she has to deal with all that. Not to mention the fact that she's had five kids, right? And I think the men in here, the XY chromosomes, should understand how difficult that is. And the women, because chances are, if you haven't gone through it, you probably will. But I don't want to just personify my mum as a mother. She's her own person, don't get me wrong. She loves knitting. She loves Richard Osman's house again. She hates being a passenger in a car. And she is the most beautiful, intellectual, confident woman I have ever met in my entire life. So when she says to me, Isabel, if I'm out, eye contact, come on. I do not want you ending up like me. I think screw it. Of course I would end up like her, exactly like her. Maybe not five kids because, ow, but everything else. Calm down. So when you get home, take your shoes off, take your bag off, go and hug your mum, go and tell her that you love her because I can guarantee you don't do it enough. <laughs>